morning guys it is friday and today i'm doing a lot of crafting because i am going to a holiday party later right now i'm actually going to be dyeing some fleece lined tights which i'm very excited that i finally got i went to tj maxx and got a two pack of black and like a skin flesh color but the flesh color is like not the right color so I'm gonna make them a bit darker. So they're by Anne Klein and they're kind of fleecy on the inside so they're a bit thinner so I can wear them under pants if I need to. And I did shoot a clip of like the color of my skin um, with this. I thought it could work but it's just a bit too muted. I have the water boiling with the soap. I'm going to use these two to make it the right color. Um, yeah, this will make a brown. So I'm gonna do most of this and then some black. <laughs> So I have this dress that I've had for a while and I'm going to make a skirt out of this because I don't really like the whole thing anymore. It's too big for me so if I can make this a bit tighter I think that'll be really cute and I'll get more wear out of it because I prefer having a top and a bottom versus one whole thing. I also love the bottom of this. It's just so cute. I'm done with the skirt. I don't know if I'm wearing it tonight. I do like it, but the only black skirt I have is this like cottony material one, which does look nice and like voluminous, but I'm not sure if it's for a holiday party. I do have one other outfit idea because I was going to wear like a black sheer rouge top on top. So I have this black skirt. I also have it in kind of like this material a bit softer this one is more formal and then that white lace top with something underneath i don't know yet this was my other idea to kind of put with that i don't know i'll put it on also i'm watching the hunger games um i haven't seen this in so long but i'm enjoying it i forgot how good these movies are like very exciting um here is the outfit that i had an idea for but the thing with this situation or party is that it's like a dinner. So we're going to be standing and like sitting down, eating. I feel like this is something I'd want to wear if I was like mostly standing, but I don't know. Also, I'm in kind of a rush. It's almost three o'clock and I think we have to leave at like 5.15. So yeah, I have some time to figure it out, but the skirt came out cute. <laughs> Okay, my room is an absolute mess, but this is what I turned out with. So I have this skirt on and I just put this little bow as a belt with the sheer tights. I have a sleeveless top underneath and the sheer top. It's long sleeve, all ruched, and then I'm gonna wear this just to keep warm and then a wool coat. And I put some, you know, accessories, some nice round earrings, and I have to go. We are running so late. big day as you can see from the title we're going out and about we're wandering about the city later on we're actually dropping off my brother-in-law at the airport at jfk and then we're gonna go so i lucked out i literally manifested this into my life because haven't been since 2019 so i have a tart like pro discount with my license and i never use it so I finally decided to get some things. I feel like Tarte is one of those brands that I overlook, but I do like it. I don't know what it is about Tarte. Also, this is just so fun, like having makeup and tissue paper. <laughs> so special. It's like Christmas. So first off is the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator, and I've used this before. I like how it's in a squeezy tube. We have a sample of the Shape Tape Glow Wand, which I was curious about, so let's try that out. And this next product, I went about for a little bit. Here is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. The wand is, where is the wand? Like that. 
I really like a plastic wand, I find. I don't know what's going on. And the last thing is this little trio, very exciting. So this has the shape tape, hopefully this is, is this not the hydrating one? I'm gonna be very sad if it's not. I don't, I don't think it is. What have I done? So it has shape tape, the man eater mascara, and then this little maracuja lip balm in the color rose. I just love getting small mascaras. The packaging is so pretty. It's like glittery, but it won't come off. Wow. Let's see what this is like. I like that. So the reason why I picked this up is because I don't wear foundation anymore. I just, I can't. I definitely indulged in lots of, lots of foods yesterday. Also the fleece leggings. Oh my gosh. Life changing. This is the outfit I came up with. Corduroy skirt, black sweater. My hair is probably going to go up. I just have to do it. Um, these black tights. I have on these little, what are they called? Like one more thingies. It feels very autumn, but it's fine. Oh, we just left them all. Um, and we went to the restroom, got a coffee. I could find ear muffs, but did not find any. Um, now we're gonna head into the city. Quite a wild ride. Here we are. There's a little cafe over here. Um, Michael thought it was a room where you can eat plants. I'm going for Uggs. Lots of folks. So we were just discussing New York because there are these like statues everywhere. This is how I edge my face, by the way. Um, and I was saying, well, first of all, we don't come in through Queens when we come into New York. It's usually through the other side. And so every time we come to the city, even though it's not my first time, but you're coming here since I was a kid and visiting, every time we come, we like still see new things. It kind of reminds me of how I listen to the Harry Potter books over and over again. And there are things that like stand out. I mean, things I laugh at all the time, but things that I just notice more because every single time we come down to visit, it's a different priority. Oh my gosh, we're going around a circle. Columbus Circle Hallway Market. We have the globe. There's the market. Ooh. It's intense. A lot of people. I don't ever remember it being like this. It's fine. But I don't know when we usually go. But a week before Christmas, it's live for everything. in circles, yes. <laughs> to be honest. Mostly just, to avoid the tourists. Yeah, we were hitting walls and not people. Am I on camera? Uh, yes. Okay, we were hitting walls of people. Literally, we're not moving, so we're like rerouting all over the place. It's pretty wild, um, but it's fun. We just passed the Chipotle that we had a snack at. Not sure we're gonna have a bigger meal, but we're surviving. Hmm. I'm glad I wore the Uggs. I might need to post up the hand warmers soon. And we're good. Disney. Oh my gosh, the old one. Austin. We are in Mars Rebel. Just looking around. Beautiful. Forget about this, because I look kind of ridiculous. Oh my gosh, Texas. I got this. Now we're going to leave. Uh, we did not get anything except for these. We found ping pong tables. Michael loves ping pong. Uh, yeah, one of them is very good. Uh, I wish go. I got that last volley. That was a good volley uh, they had. Yeah, it was. It was very good. Um, we're going to leave now. Yeah. Find food I, on the way. I felt a little awkward just staring at them for too long. <laughs> we ended up in a grocery store. <laughs> we're uh, in Jersey now and we're gonna get food. Yeah, it's like right next door to the place. This is the first. We're going down a hallway. Oh my gosh, there's a step. That's his meal. 
That's what I'm more. Oh. I don't want to overdo it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it makes it so quiet. Yes. It's already deaf. <laughs> asleep in the car which was great we ate in Jersey and that is the joy of like driving into the city um, because right across the bridge in Jersey is um, a lot of hello there's a cat in the bed <laughs> so by the end of that whole thing I was very like done I can't say that I love the city it's not a place I would ever want to live but it has a bunch of things that I enjoy. Um, a lot of, you know, experiences and cool stores. So that is why I go. It's also just nostalgic, but yeah, by the end of the day, I am very like, I need to go. Like I hit a wall where I start being like, how do people live here? It's so intense. And it's weird because we walked around, I bought earmuffs, but I really don't go to like, buy stuff. The next time I go, I want to go to the Harry Potter store and eat at this place called The Cauldron that is in the lower part of Manhattan, or I should say like mid-Manhattan. Um, yeah, but we didn't even go to Herald Square because it's too far, I didn't feel like taking a train or anything like that. So yeah, maybe for my birthday, which isn't like six months, but we shall see. So I will see you guys tomorrow, possibly. So it is Sunday and I'm currently crafting. I'm in a flow, I'm very excited about it. So last week I ordered some material. I wanted to get it at Michael's, but they didn't have it. I was tricked. So I got it on Amazon and it is this photo oh my god phonic filler <laughs> what was i gonna say photo of something but no so it's this very thin um material that they put in crafts i don't know what else they put it in but basically this is a kicker toy and here there is this material sewed on the back of this part so it's surrounding the entire thing and that is what makes it nice and noisy. And I just realized that the end of this does not have it. It actually has like some type of sandy, not sandy material, but something to make this thing heavy. So I have to figure that out because I didn't think of that because I'm making one right now. So right now I'm making a book. So right now I actually have the like pages of the book made. So this is just some felt and I put this gold ribbon on top and just basically sewed going up and down the entire thing. And I just realized that I sewed this together wrong. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on here? All right, I have to undo this and attach it over here. Lovely. reason why I love sewing so much is because there's so much troubleshooting involved like I just came up with a solution to a problem that I realized might happen so this piece has to form right angles eventually so it has to be like going like this and since it's pretty thick like it doesn't naturally want to so I just did a reinforcement stitch which is this stitch right over here um, it's on the top page well like what will be the top of the pages so you can see that it just is like more angled. So I'm trying to figure out what to make the actual like book cover. My original plan was felt. So here I have this black felt and I wanted it to look like a journal, like Tom Riddle's diary, um, but felt is very like hair catching. And yeah, I just like lint rolled this piece and was realizing that this is going to get extremely Harry, full of kill me's fur because he's orange. So, <laughs> my solution was possibly to use 
this bodysuit that I got so long ago and it ended up not being my style like this is what it looks like and it's this fake suede material which will still get hairy but it will kind of hide it and it looks like a suede like old bound book so this might work but it's very thin so I might have to actually like make a triple layer so it'll be this with the photo photonic what is the word phonic is the word so it'll be this phonic paper and then the felt let's see it's now the nighttime and my prototype for the book did not work out but it's fine i spent quite a bit of time like trying to figure it out um it's over here so yeah i have to like take some of it apart and i want to do it a different way because I want it to look like a book and not just a cube and if I do it this way it's going to look quite cube-like so I'm making a little leaf which I think is really cute so here is the leaf I have the paper and I'm going to cut it to size it was really easy I just did some freehand stitching to make it look like a leaf and this is the wrong side okay I'm feeling a little better I feel like I can't even touch this thing while I'm recording because it's so noisy but yeah, I just put it together and I'm going to trim the excess. I really just needed to finish something today, to be honest. I could not let this day go without um, a project complete or else I would have felt like I did absolutely nothing. One thing that's kind of funny is I've been watching The Hunger Games and haven't watched these films in a very long time and I forgot how good they were so yeah I'm on the second one right now quite nice to just put something on that I've seen before but I'm not super familiar with because it's kind of like I'm watching something new but not really you know what I mean just gonna do a little more trimming and then flip this to the right side all done let's see if Levi likes it go on just have a bunch of videos of him walking away from it <laughs> so sad oh it's okay here is our tree I never showed the finished product with the white glittery bobbles on it and we have our our Zen ones sandy ones very beautiful to wash that sadness away we're going to wrap some gifts i have been like holding off until right now so let's do this we're oh my gosh i forgot i had two kinds of wrapping paper so i have to decide which ones Target right now. I just needed coffee, so I have double coffee, and I have to box, box lunch to pick up an order. It's kind of far, but I'm gonna go because it's last two that I can get it. Very peopled out for the day, and uh, I got some little donuts. Got these cute little things. Got a bunch of flavors. Um, I just realized it's very on theme. Everything is brown. Um, it's getting late. I have to finish. My movie um, Catching Fire and I do go to Airy and I'm very excited about that I'm gonna do laundry I'm like all over the place right now this is how my brain works it's it's ridiculous let's backtrack for a moment so I went to box lunch to get this little card holder it's by Danielle Nicole and it's so cute 
it looks like you know a little I don't want to say like Louis Vuitton print or whatever but it's definitely inspired by like a designer um yeah I have little mice okay so this is the card holder that I've used for a very long time it's from coach and I love it because I can easily see it in a bag because it's all printed the green from the TV bank even matches so cute hey guys it is Friday I'm about to go out get some last minute things um, I'm leaving a lot later than I thought it I would but it's fine I just want to take the opportunity to like get dressed, put an outfit together, and I realized something really important the other day, or maybe it was yesterday. Um, it is that when I'm trying to look on trend, in style, um, in touch with, you know, Gen Z and the new latest styles, I get into a little panic and I'm like trying too hard and then I end up not feeling like myself um, even though I'm still like bringing my own personality into my wardrobe and certain things that I own but yeah I always get into a panic and then if I am not doing that honoring my naturally I want to call it theatrical style I'm good. The outfit that I have on is a prime example of what I'm talking about so this top I love so much and I wish I had more things like it. I never thought I'd be a button down kind of person but yeah I love this button down because it's like kind of feminine and it has this puff sleeve and it's very light. It's not stuffy. I love the high neck. I wear it closed and open. And I like to wear it tight at the waist. It's just very cute and I just love all the details. I also thrifted this top. And then this skirt, I've had it for so long. It's a corduroy skirt. It's my only corduroy skirt and it fits me perfectly. It is from Forever 21 and yeah, I got this new years ago and I love it. I really need to own more skirts like this that are structured because they do the A-line cut and the tights are those fleece line tights. I normally wear these to the run fair, but yeah, I want to start wearing them out because they look so cute with skirts. And I remember in like, I don't know when it was. I saw these boots on Instagram. One girlies were posting like photos of skater skirts with tights and these boots. And I had to have these boots. I keep them forever because they're a really good shoe and I know they're not the most like stylish platform boot. My outfit is very nature-y. I have this little bandana that has you know all the colors of my outfit and yeah I feel like I wouldn't see someone out and about wearing this kind of outfit and that's what makes me feel different but I think knowing that I already look like a bit different or not like I'm following trends um, I'm more comfortable with that versus me trying to fit in and then just feeling uncomfortable because I feel like I'm trying too hard versus this. I feel just so amazing. I feel like myself. That's it for my rant. I'm going to go because it's getting late. I don't even know what I'm getting. I don't know where I'm going. What well, kind of do? So I will see you guys later. Got some things to try on. Okay, I'm back. I am unwell. Physically and mentally everything unwell. I was out for like six hours. Um, I have perfume on me that I do not like. <laughs> um, regret that. Uh, but I did come out with some things, gifts, things for myself too, which I'm like excited about. So let's do a little haul. This will be posted after Christmas. So I'm just going to show like things that I got. Also, my space heater's on because I can't, my hands are still freezing. Um, the wind is violent out there. The cold is violent. What is on your tail? I found this little tiny Demon brush. I'm so excited about this because the hairbrush that I've been using in the shower is the Tangle Teaser. That's the only hairbrush that I own that has no... Let me say this again. That's the only hairbrush that I own that can go in the shower because it doesn't have that pillowy bottom that the bristles are attached to. So I found this little thing for $5. It needs to be a vent brush because it's waterproof. And I really like that it has the little 
nubs on the end because with my dermatitis my scalp gets really sensitive because I have to like pick off the flakes. I know it sounds very nice. I have to be very careful not to touch my scalp so with this it'll be so much gentler. I'm very excited. I got this planner. It looks a lot like my phone which I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, planners are not my thing, but I get one every single year just so I have one that I can pick up. So I always go to TJ or Home Goods and just get something really cheap. This was like 10 bucks, and it's a lot bigger than my old one. And this time it's actually a full spiral. The last one that I got was not. The tabs on this are pastel and it just looks a lot more open. I like the bigger page, so I'm excited to use this and it has little quotes. Very nice. I got a pack of hair ties. These are the stocking-like ones, and I've never tried these. But I'm very excited because I am now a ponytail person. I didn't do it today because I just have had my hair up for a couple of days, and I just wanted a little break. So yeah, these will be very nice, very sturdy for my thick hair. I found two tops. The first thing is an oversized bat wing with a sweater scrunch. But it also has like an iridescent fleck to it. It's so pretty. It looks like the night sky. And I can actually wear this two ways, which I'm very excited about. And also it's from Express. I didn't realize that they would have Express clothes. Never had seen that before, so that was interesting. And then this, I think this is mango because it's MNG. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I am such a sucker for anything that has embroidery. Oh my gosh. Here is a little peek of the embroidery. It's so beautiful. And the sleeves look like that. The sleeves are a bit overwhelming, but I don't know. It may work. It just comes like a little past my hands or the sleeve looks too long, but I could easily like alter and take away one of these panels, so we'll see about that. So the last time that I went to Home Goods, I did not get any candles. There was a little clip of me sniffing, sniffing away, and I could not find or make up my mind on candles, so I did this time. I'm very excited. So this first one is actually not for me. This is for my brother-in-law because he loves boba, and it's so ironic because literally the last thing that he said when he went to the airport like as he's closing the door he's like you guys are getting boba without me it's very like sweet mm, it it smells like it it's definitely milky though i think this will make him laugh i really tried to like only get myself one but i couldn't help myself so i ended up with two for myself i got this palo santo copal it's very very classy and the lid is very flush and this smells like spirituality. Oh my god, it smells so good. I love it. Okay, okay. I don't know if you can tell how delirious I am. The scents are just getting to me. So I got this next one for my mom because she always likes that eucalyptus mint kind of candle like from Bath and Body Works. But I found this one. Very cute. Um, it is called Stress Relief, ironically. And it just looks really clean. It smells a little less intense than that Bath & Body Works candle. And yeah, it's just very cute and little. The last one is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Sydney Candle Company. It's called Silent Night with Amber and Patchouli, which I love. And I just thought this looks so magical with the fluted sides. Mm. I could live here. And after I'm done, I'm gonna clean it out, use it to hold something, I don't know what, maybe makeup. That's what I love about getting candles at those stores is because they just look so pretty. Moving on, I ran around Kohl's like a lunatic, to be honest. Just laugh at my pain. Just please be entertained by this. Um, it's all to the fault of my OCD because I wander about the store, want things to be perfect, and yeah, I just, I don't know how I look. I feel like if I were working in these stores, everywhere I go, I'd be like, what is this girl doing? And she's like wandering around the store, like in circles, because that's what I do. Um, but anyway, 
I made it out alive with some purchases. I got this top. I'm very excited about it because it's actually very similar to this one. Except it's like the other version. It's the girly version. I'm not going to be stocking Kohl's because the Lauren Conrad line there is so beautiful and so feminine. I love so many things. Buttons are like out like this with a little string. They're just so quaint. So girly. And there are ruffles on the top, ruffles on the shoulder. And then the sleeve. Oh my god, you're going to see. It's like the exact same length as this top right here. This actually went really well with the skirt that I wore there. Do you see this foot? <laughs> and then I again had choice paralysis when it came to choosing a hat for my mom. I ended up with this one. Um, I didn't know if I should get hot pink or white, so I went with white. Um, it just looked very girly and, you know, go with her Hello Kitty thing. And if she got like a little Hello Kitty pin, that'd be so cute. I want to find one, but did not plan ahead obviously and then for my mother-in-law i got this little fresh mint lip balm um these are always sold out i just like found this one rogue so those are all the purchases oh my gosh i am so excited to wash i can't wash my hair tonight i'm just gonna do like a bod shower and eat have something warm i will see you guys after the holidays i hope you had great holidays, great gatherings, and all that stuff. And as always, thank you for watching. Toodaloo.